This uh, media rights results in roughly $400 million uh, for the ACC, with each school getting about What's up, it's your boy Mayhem Matthew. I just want to come on here and talk about the ACC. And um, I think a lot of y'all are misinformed. So I'm here to inform you uh, with the ACC. Uh, everybody's talking about the Magnificent uh, Seven, which uh, includes FSU, Clemson, North Carolina State, North Carolina, Virginia, Virginia Tech, and Miami. Uh, they were meeting with lawyers, uh, taking a look at the grant of rights deal that runs through uh, 2036. Uh, let's talk about the uh, ACC, uh, you know, media rights contract with ESPN. It was signed in 2016. It was a deal that uh, games will be played on ESPN on channels through the 2035-2036 season. So uh, this uh, media rights results in ru roughly $400 million uh, for the ACC with each school getting about $35, $36 million uh, per year. And, you know, these teams are really mad about that because they think they are worth more than that. Uh, the SEC and Big Ten teams are making uh 30 million more dollars than these ACC teams. So, um, and even if the ACC team uh, left the ACC, um, it would cost them probably about $120 million. And the ACC would still own their broadcasting rights. So, uh, that's the whole ordeal there. I want to give you my thoughts on it. I do believe that um, these teams have a lot of power, right? I do believe that. I believe these teams um, and these lawyers uh, are going to uh, break the grant of rights and this media deal. I do believe that they're going to renegotiate and... I believe that everything's going to be fine, right? Um, you know, and one thing that's being overblown, and even uh, Michael Alford, FSU director, uh, he says that talks of schools leaving the ACC is, quote-unquote, probably overblown. And I agree with him. Um, you know, football fans, college football fans, always love to do one thing and that one thing is overreact right and i think this is a big overreaction uh, a huge overreaction um yes uh these teams want more money and yes uh you know it's uh, been hard to um you know negotiate with the new uh tv contract but I do think these teams have a lot of power and a lot of say. I do think that uh, this grant of rights will be broken. And I do think um, they're going to get a new contract. And uh, these teams are going to get more money. Um, right now, the ACC is the third best uh, you know, TV deal out there. And um, according to Michael Alford, they want to stay the third best uh, you know behind the SEC in the Big Ten because well they know that they're probably not going to be able to close the gap all the way um, but they want to close the gap enough to where they you know in the future that they're still competing um, for national titles and stuff like that so but they still want to be in the ACC Michael Alford made it very clear that uh, you know these ACC teams want to want to stay in the ACC. Um, they're very proud of the ACC. They love the ACC. You know they love this conference, 
right? And they don't want to get out of it. So uh, that's why they're doing everything and anything they can um, before they have to revert to going to a different conference. But I think this is highly overblown. Um, you know, Michael Alford says probably overblown. I think it's really overblown. Uh, he was just being nice there. But uh, let me know what you think about this. I think that the ACC is going to be just fine. I think they're going to renegotiate this contract. And, um, you know, that's what I think is going to happen. Uh, I think it's uh, just a major overreaction by college football fans and the media. So uh, that's why I didn't really want to make this video. But I'm here making it uh, to inform y'all. Come on, college football fans. Y'all just overreacting. So... If you like this content, smash the thumbs up. And if you really like this content, hit the subscribe button.